Hey, this is Misty and you're watching ESC Fan TV. Dare to cut me off last week at the end when you asked me to sing the show out. I'll have the last laugh. <clears throat> Are you ready? Um Hello, it's Sunday, it's 8pm UK time, 9pm Central European time, you are watching ESC Fan TV. Oh, what a fabulous evening it is. Uh, please join in the conversation, Ian and Donna are on the, are on the comments this evening, um, and we're going to be going through semi-final two. Uh, but first of all, let's say a big hello to the panellists who are ready and willing to give their opinions. Uh, who should we start with? Phil and Michelle, hey, how are you? Hello. Hello, ESC Fan TV <laughs> from Biddington. How are those local chords this evening, Michelle? Oh, you absolute arseholes, all of you. <laughs> Look, it's, it was what the public wanted, that's all I can say. Uh, <laughs> also, we've got Ian and Donna. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. Hello. Hello. Back for more in semi-final two. What a bunch we've got this week. Hey, it's an exciting bunch. There's some of my favourites in here. My top ten is full of a full of semi-final too. Um, we've also got live from Belgium, Elena. Good evening. Good evening. I'm gonna talk about Belgium. So I'm happy, happy, happy. Yay! And we did see Musty at the very start as well. We've also got live from Wales. It's Brendan. Good evening. Evening, all. It's gonna be a lot of fun. This is, isn't it? Oh. It is going to be tremendous fun. And also joining us from Minion Land, it's Oven. Good evening, bananas. This is the closest I can get to the Euro Papa colour, so I'm ready. Love it. Absolutely love it. Right, guys, do not forget, keep the conversation going. Uh, like, comment, subscribe as you're going on ask questions from the panel. We've got 16 entries to go through. Now, obviously, they haven't announced the draw for semi-final two yet. So we are going to be going through these in a very, very scientific manner, alphabetically. So let's start with part one and we'll see what the panel think. Away we go. Oh, we have got some cracking tunes there. Uh, right, guys, in the lucky dip of life, who is it that's going to uh, get the spotlight shone on them? I wonder. Hey, Ian and Donna. <laughs> what are your favourites from those group of five? Oh, God. Go okay, it. let's start. Well, I think, actually, for once, Armenia for me. I absolutely love that song. Um it just reminds me of a really fun, upbeat Bollywood number. <laughs> and, and it, yeah, it's, it's as Zobin would say, my cultural orgasm this year, I think. <laughs> yeah, I really like that one. Um, it's actually in my top ten. Um, and quite a few of these, I think, are just really great songs. Um, Austria as well. I really like Austria. Um, takes me back to my youth. And uh, uh, Belgium as well. How could I not like that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, 
so many good ones. What's your favorite in that one? I, I do like I wish this Albania had stuck with the original and not mocked oh. about with it too much because this they didn't need the English language. This the original was much better. Um Armenia, I do quite like this one. It's something I always like it's from that country. You can tell it's from that mm. that region. They've not tried to do Eurovision, they've done their thing and sent it to Eurovision. And that quite often works. Portugal's also very good at that. Um Austria, I didn't realize two unlimited were in the competition this year. <laughs> <laughs> um, it is proper school with a burst of prodigy drums at the end that's just different enough not to get the copyright tinge on them um, Belgium is good I it builds nicely it's nice ballet to start builds to the end ends very big and dramatic it's been seems very popular maybe it's because he's writhing around topless and glittery who knows that can help um, but uh, did we get to Chechi on this one? Yes, we, we did. We haven't uh, yet. I haven't mentioned. I I go. I like this one. It's rather old school. It's very Avril Lavigne, Elastica kind of early nineties. Well, I like it. I don't think no one does. It's okay. I, I would say it's not one of my favourites of the whole group, but I haven't heard her live yet, so I'm intrigued as to how they're going to stage this and how she's going to be live, um, unless it's something I've missed. Um, yeah. So we'll see. There's a lot to like here. Mm. Um, it's interesting that you mentioned the early 90s and stuff there, guys. Um, I was told with Austria that, uh, you know, it wouldn't be that mo that popular amongst the youth, as it were, um, which is why it came fifth in Boom Bang a Bang at the RBT on Friday night. <laughs> Just saying vindication. Uh, so... <laughs> Thanks for your comments, guys. We will come back to you in a bit. Obviously, we heard Belgium mentioned there. Belgium gets mentioned straight away. Alina, boom, we are there. Yes. Oh, what an entry this isn't it year. Good? It's and good, also, isn't it? Have you oh. already met Musty? Is this is what yes. is this what we're saying? No, um, I met him now twice, and he is such a nice amazing friendly guy and he really takes time with every fan so if you go to a pre-party and he's there you will get a picture you will get a conversation you will get everything you want from him because he's so so nice and he can sing like i saw rehearsal videos he can really sing so i'm such i'm so happy i just hope that the staging will be good because we are always a country that you either we sing good and we have a bad staging or we have a good staging and we just sing terribly but um i read somewhere that musti was like i'm only going to compete in eurovision if i have full um control over the song and the act so i'm i'm feeling really really good with this one really good, really good. hey we like those good vibes <laughs> Some tough competition though there, even in those first four. I mean, what are we what are we thinking? Um, I'm just checking my notes like in the app. Um, I really like Austria, which uh, we will rave and then down, 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 down. <laughs> um, or like the other countries like Armenia and um etc. Because yeah, all my love goes to Musti, I think. Um, Albania is in my sixth place of the semi final, and um, ah, yeah, a, a pedestal. Um, if you're Belgian and you're um, from West Flanders, um, it's a really weird song because we have a word pedestal, and it's quite similar to pedestal, and it means like the stable your horse is in. So mm. we hear heart stall like every time so um yeah it's it's a, it's an interesting twist to to the song but uh, yeah language is always a fabulous thing it is and i'm just gonna have to my lord he has something and, and just have to go real quick that's all right that's all right we're we're gonna we're gonna bring brendan into this conversation brendan there's a whole variety of songs amongst there in that first five obviously are you going to offend Alina or are you going to, you know, say how great Belgium is? I think Belgium is great. Fantastic hey. voice. It builds well. Uh, it's an easy, easy song to sing along is how I've written it. Um, I think it's guaranteed to qualify. Um, 
it's not up there as one of my favorites. It's middle ground for me, but uh, yeah, nothing bad to say about it. Um, I, I think out of that five, we've got been four very good ones in my eyes. I'm not a fan of Armenia. I, I it doesn't appeal. I, I, it, maybe I'm missing something. Um, so maybe I won't say much more of that. Um, Albania, I think I side with uh, uh, Ian and that um, it should have stayed in Albanian. I, th- I think it's uh, it's lost its edge. I don't think it's as powerful as it is in, in its own language. Um, I, I get the the idea of putting, uh, changing it to be in English, but I don't. Maybe fifty fifty doing go back and forth between the languages might be better, but uh, it's lost some of it for me. Um, Austria is fantastic, very catchy. Um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be probably my favourite overall, and uh, pedestal just keeps growing on me. So um, I don't know why it does. <laughs> Hey, and do you know what? As for Armenia, I'll be honest, there is no shame on it because people were telling me how great Armenia was, and yeah, still yet to be enlightened by that one. I wonder if we have got someone on the panel who could enlighten me uh, with Armenia, though. Uh, Let's bring on Phil and Michelle. Uh, Is Armenia tickling you this year, or is it no? It's very traditional, isn't it? Um, Which is always good, but, and it will stand yeah, out. It will. Um, but I, I don't get it myself. It, it, it doesn't do it for me. Sometimes, sometimes these traditional songs work. Um, the video looks like it's done for the Armenian tourist board, um, so maybe it'll get lots of interest in people wanting to visit Armenia. But um, it it didn't work for me. I'm sorry. Um, I did quite like Albania, though. Um, I think she's got great vocals and. I mean, I know we're we're all fans of countries doing songs in their own language, but to be honest, it might actually do better in English, you know, with the with the general public. I don't know. What do you think? You didn't like it, did you? No. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm with you, Phil. I prefer the English version. I think it's got broader. Yeah. Mm. Um, I didn't like it in any language. No. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know, but but um, yeah. You like Austria, don't you? I did Austria. <clears throat> Ian was right. It is a bit prodigy. Uh, you know, giving a nod to the prodigy there, which I also like, but it also gave a nod to here's one, for, here's one for the youth. Does, <laughs> does anybody remember Mr. Vane? Call him Mr. Rainer, call him, call him insane. I know what I want and I want it now. I want you because I'm Mr. Vane. It's that, it's basically half the song is that. Which... You just wanted to sing again, didn't you? No, you no. Get cut off. <laughs> Oh, I'm feeling really bad now. Oh, <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll give you some time to sing again at the end. It's fine. Oh, I don't believe it. But uh, I, but I still liked it. I, mm. I mean, because I obviously used to go and rave before my knees gave way. And so it's just nostalgic to me. I think it's brilliant. Belgium and Musty. Do you want to go first on Musty? Yeah, I like that. Um, at first I thought, you know, it's, it was a bit ordinary till he gets going, but once he gets going, he, when he gets going, he gets going. Yeah, the video it, it really builds up. Yeah, I know you, you like loved the video. the video, didn't you? Um, well, it's not it. quite my sort of video, um, but if you sure kind of think oh, that's fine. It's a naked bloke rolling around in glitter. What's not to like? It's like <laughs> that's like my ideal man. If he does that on the Eurovision stage, I'll spend at least fifty p voting for him. <laughs> it, honestly. The video is mm. fantastic. If you like a, a naked bloke, you that's the video for you. Mm. And Chechia, you like Chechia, don't you? It's my absolute favourite. We all know she's a hot mess. We all saw what happened. But yet again, I will, I will say, if you listen to it on a music streaming device or any other device, the, the proper studio version of it, it's brilliant. In the mix of everything... It always stands out. I think it's absolutely awesome. I think, to be, I mean, to be fair to her, in Chechia, for their national final, a lot of people seem to be having audio issues and not hearing themselves. Um, and also, I think her choreography was a bit disorganised. and So she's going to need proper choreography. She's going to need, she's gonna need yeah. to rehearse dancing and singing at no, the same time. No, or, or maybe she needs not to even not. Bother. Yeah, no. just leave it to the other dancers. I guess. Do not dance. Stand she, there and yeah. let somebody dance around you. If she can perform it well, it'd be brilliant. If not, it could be a bit of a car crash. Oh, either way, either way, I'm looking forward to yeah. it. I have to say, and I'm assuming this comment is about uh, 
uh, Austria, but this is the best comment I've seen so far. If it was proper clubland style, I could get into it, but it's a middle of little club clubland. It is, but I still love it. And who goes every every now and again? You go to Little, you walk around the middle aisle of Little, and you end up buying a chainsaw that you don't need. This is that song, and we're all there for it. To be fair, I can't wait to dance to it. In actual fact, I did dance to it on Friday. But dum da dum dum da, we will rave. Ah, oh, do you know what the one thing that was missing from Friday though? Ah, oh, it was Oban. Ah, oh, Oban should have been there. But take yourself off mute. What are your thoughts on these songs? Tom, first of all, let me apologize from our viewers. I am today a little bit slow. I'm still fighting a terrible hangover. This is the first time I sit on my bum this today. So um, let me go through Albania and Armenia. If I would make a medal table, the countries that gave me the most number of uh, cultural orgasms, most probably these two would be top five, right? The last two, three years, they failed to satisfy my needs. Um, Austria, uh, uh, it it feels like I am betraying myself. It's like I made. I think I made a uh, fame my thirst for dancing pop divas, and this is the first time that I was also failed to be satisfied. I don't know. This is just. It just. It's 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 it doesn't feel organic. It doesn't feel natural. It doesn't feel true to her artistry. It's so it's it's fake. It's so obvious that they've done it to just you know I don't know for whatever reasons. Uh, Belgium ah ah just I really hope Belgium wins with this song. This is just a word like winner worthy song and i am i i know myself this song is gonna finish second and it's just gonna i will just keep talking about this song like i've been talking about fuego like this is gonna be like one of the biggest upsets of all times right and as my chosen home chosen hometown check yeah they really need to pull a big trick out of that you know, it's it's gonna take a lot of stage presence and stage effort to make this this work. Do you know what? I think she might pull a pedestal out of that hat. <laughs> no, too soon. <laughs> oh, do you know what, Oban? I think I think you're right with Czechia. Perhaps it does need a little bit more. Uh, in terms of the way things are going with the staging and stuff like that. But as always, uh, loving your comments. And do you know what? Does this mean we're getting the same commitment with uh, Belgium as we did with uh, Cypriot entries if they win? I'm sure you've volunteered yourself to do something stupid if these entries win. Oh, uh, let's start a poll and see what people would like me to do. If Belgium wins, I am. I have no limits. Oh dear! People you heard it here first. Put down your suggestions, then I'll. And the one is though it's the the craziest one, picked by Michelle and Phil. I'll do it. This could be a new ESC fan TV award, couldn't it? And um, let's bring let's bring you all all back together again. Um, guys, five fabulous songs there. Um, this is going to be tough. Now, remember, and I said this last week, uh, last week, you guys, you know, did actually manage to come up with 10 qualifiers, having during national final season, volunteered at least 18 of them to go through to the final. Uh, now, there are, there are only 16 songs. Uh, so uh, out of these five, which ones do we see going through? We'll start with Brendan. Uh, I think Albania, Austria, Czechia, and Belgium. And that okay. Fight. Phil and Michelle. Austria, Belgium, Czechia. And I'm going to go with Albania, Austria, Belgium, and Czechia. So I agree, I'm agreeing with ben, Brendan. Yeah, you're both wrong. Oh. <laughs> Elena. So I have Belgium, Austria, 
Albania. That's it. Ian and Donna. Well, I'm going to actually be the controversial one and say Armenia. Um, and Austria, Belgium, and Czechia. I think of this group, Austria, Belgium, Czechia. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm making notes as we go along. Uh, these are never going to be held against last week, so. <laughs> uh, And Oven. I'll go conservative, which is I know you guys are not used to for me to be that. And I'll say Austria and Belgium for now. Oh, there we go. I think Austria and Belgium. I mean, let's let's look at the uh, the comments here. Dan says Austria, Armenia, Belgium. Uh, John uh, says Austria and Belgium definitely. ESC Manga says Austria, Armenia, Belgium. Um, let's scroll up a little bit. Oh, and someone called Michelle Harrison says, take it off. This isn't the masked singer, you know. Crikey. He wanted requests. I've requested. Oh, dear Lord. Take what off. That's the only thing I'm suggesting. Right. Okay, guys. Five songs done. Uh, and it's time for us to listen to the next selection of songs. Let's see what you think about this lot. There we go. We had six songs there for you. Uh, who are we going to throw into the driving seat first? I'll tell you what, if I do that and then do that. Oh, Brendan. It's like that old fashioned show, Noel's House Party. British TV <laughs> reference no one's ever going to get. They used to click their fingers. They'd be live in your living room. But I'm too young for that. What are we? Shush, you're going you're gonna to make me feel old. <laughs> um. So... Uh... I, originally, I didn't like Denmark. Um, I, I felt you know, their other representative should have won, but uh, it's grown on me. Sand is by far my favourite this year. I, I really think it may win. Uh, as everybody was saying previously, Denmark like to pull pull uh, pull pull some special out of the hat when Sweden are hosting. Um, I Estonia, yeah. I, again, it's one of those. It's a crowd pleaser, but not for me. But I, I suspect it'll do well. Um, Georgia, yeah, I, I find it a bit catchy. She's got a very decent voice, but there's something missing from that song again. It doesn't appeal to me. And whereas I usually love the Greek songs, I, I can't, I just can't get into that song at the moment. I'm, I'm hoping my opinions change as we get closer. <laughs> I don't want to be the miserable one there, but uh, yeah, yeah it's, a gen, it's a general show, isn't it? Well, yeah, that is that is part of it. What about Latvia? Or are you not really keen on Latvia? Apologies, I missed that one. Dark Horse for me. It's a dark horse. I, I think it's a very strong ballad. I think it, in the scheme of things, it could ha it could stand out. So I, I, another one I think it'll do quite well. Oh, awesome. So uh, let's go to, should we get your next go to on the lucky dip of life? Uh, let's, let's go to... Let's go to Donna and Ian. There we go. Uh, Donna and Ian. Um, yes. Estonia. Let, let's talk about Estonia for a second. Now, I know you guys um, show great uh, enthusiasm when it comes to different languages of the world. Can you pronounce it? No. Quite no. frankly, no. I'm just glad it's in there because the commentators yeah. are going to have to try and pronounce it. I know what the, title, the translation which says. Is, which is going to be the hilarious. The translation says, we do not yet. 
know anything about these drugs. Oh. So yeah, um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> That's what um, Michelle said during the nineties. <laughs> She's still spared by it as well, you know. Uh, <laughs> um, I think it's one of those that it's nice to know a little bit about the song sometimes um, in translation um, because this one I really wasn't sure about at all from the word go and just thought, oh, God, it could be another LT United. A lot of fun but not do anything. Um, and I'm still not convinced the actual lead singer <laughs> can really sing the song. LT United came sixth. Yeah, but... That's, that's not, not doing anything, though, is it? It's, it's still six. It didn't win, Phil. You know. no. <laughs> it did in Phil's eyes. Don't upset him. <laughs> no, no, say, no, this no. is Phil's all-time favourite <laughs> entry. You've just I'm sorry. Off. You'll forgive me at some point. Um, but, yeah, this one's grown on me a lot, actually. Um uh, it's it's ticking lots of bingo boxes as well, isn't it? Um, and it's definitely high energy and will definitely stand out. Um, so, yeah, I think it will qualify. Mm. Um, it may not be everybody's cup of tea, though. So I could see this might not sail through. It's one of those. You'll either love it or you hate it. What do you think about it? For Estonia? Yeah. I quite, I quite like it. It's grown on me. Um, initially, I was like, what the fuck is this? Um, but actually, also, when you take it, if you listen to just that away from the, the silly dance, it, I think it's quite a good song in there. Um, who are this group? Um, I like Denmark. Um, as Neil said, uh, Neil Fulcher, it sounds like a bit of a Melfest. Should have been a Melfest, really. But it's. I think that's going to do really quite well. For somebody who's very static on stage, has a big presence, it's really well put together as a song um estonia it's a bit fun uh georgia oh, it's just shit um greece uh that's also shit but it's got a really funny video that takes the piss out of the um whole greek tourism industry and all the cliches in it yeah but you're but, not going to see the video on stage no. and it has nothing to do with the song no but it's a no. really good video <laughs> it's totally different to the song out of this one but... though latvia this is good it's a baltic ballad not a balkan ballad but it's very good. It's very simply done, but it's done very well. Um, and if you watch the national final performance, very static on stage, nice video backdrop, nothing fancy, really, really works. And if that's up again in amongst the sillier songs uh, this year, it's going to stand out. It's one of the few that's actually valid this, in this whole semi. So in a way, being as reserved as it is could do it, it justice or be in its favour, you know? So it is probably so. Um, and it's something that we've not heard before, but that could help it get through to the final. Uh, yeah, uh, this is not my favourite selection, I've got to admit. Um, Do you know what? That's fine, because I know yeah. we've got five bangers to finish with. Excellent. But that's the that's the easy one. At least I hope they are. My memory suggests, although I have to admit, I might have been a few drinks in on Friday when I was listening to these. Um, obviously, if anyone's listening at home or non non alcoholic, <clears throat> of course they went. Uh, so, <laughs> but um, I think there's some interesting comments there. We're going to bring some others on in on the conversation, uh, as it were. I saw Phil and Michelle uh, obviously get a bit vocal there over LT United, uh, but uh, surely. Feel, I mean, I feel like I'm banging an Estonian drum, but I'm sure this song is so far up your street. Oh, <laughs> oh yes, oh yes, this is my favorite of the whole competition. It's brilliant. Um, I think it's very Estonian in the subject. Um, if you if you actually watch the Estonian national final, their performance, the crowd is singing along, everyone's loving it, and I think it won the televote massively, didn't it? Yeah. Um, yeah, I love it. It's a lot of fun. You've got your traditional instruments, if they are traditional or if they're just made up. I don't know, but it's got everything. It's got the dance. It's got tune. I love it. Look how, Fantastic. Look how excited you I know. It's my, it's my favourite this year. I did tell you all about the the dream I had about this, didn't I? I'm sure I did. I don't know, because I'm usually drunk when I do this. But it was like, I was... Uh, I think I was the rapper that, well, you know, the, the, at the beginning, then Stu was the singer, 
and then Phil and Andy Brooke were the old men with the stupid instruments that I'd made out of cornflake bo boxes and elastic bands. You know, sometimes dreams do come true. <laughs> I was going to say, drums are made an elastic bands and stuff. That almost reminds me of the rainbow sketch when they talk about the twanger. But that's just... I think that's probably one for, for younger than the youth, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Um, anyway, back on track. Let's have a look. Let's see what else we've got. Uh, oh, Denmark. If she gave her pedestal to Chechia and she moved a little bit and Chechia stood on that pedestal, they both could qualify. Yeah, I, I like that though. It's a good song, isn't it? Yeah, it is. And she's got a powerful voice. Um, she does say sand quite a lot, doesn't she? I know, and it's, a it, lot it's of sand, not sand. a very. I don't know. It doesn't sit well, but it's sand. It's not. It's, you know, yeah, it's, it's not a it's sexy not a very word, is it? Word. No. Um. Yeah. Um. I thought Dan's hollow. Um. Yeah, he's got a great voice, and um, it may stand out, but it's not my cup of tea. It just plods for me, I'm afraid. I thought it was a beautifully haunting ballad. Oh, there we go. Oh, one of oh. them. <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. I thought it was a beautifully haunting ballad. The more I hear this, the more I really like it. I just don't like it when I'm watching him sing it. If I don't have to watch him sing it, I think it's brilliant. <clears throat> Well, they just need something on stage. It's just boring. But I'm sure the Eurovision mm. genies will wave their little wands and he'll have a fantastic staging around him and it'll come across really, really well. So I really hope so because I do like it. I just don't like the staging that they had for the national final sort of mm. thing. So. Um, no, that's fine. I mean, Troy said, is the sand getting between your toes and other places? Oh, it always does, honestly. When you get older, it's awful. Absolutely awful. <laughs> it's the joy of living by the seaside. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, Greece. Um, yeah. I just put worst video ever. That was it. Um, I don't know. Um, the beginning, it reminds me a bit of oh, Superman by uh, oh, Laurie God. Anderson. Find there's one for the youth. There you go. Yeah, there there's you go. one for you. There you go. Well, How does it go? Oh, 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 oh. Uh, yeah, that bit. Sounds like the vocal warm-ups on an, on a uh, Pitch Perfect movie, to be fair. Yeah. Oh, um, but, but yeah, I, I didn't get, I don't get Greece, sorry. It's not for me. And does anybody else think that jo um, Georgia is going to have absolutely killer choreography? It's going to be absolutely sort of really tight and sort of all, you know, oh, it's just going to have killer cho choreography, but with no substance behind it. Oh. Which never did anybody any harm at Eurovision, to be fair. Yeah. So I think it'll probably do this quite well. Yeah. This is true. Right. I can see Oban getting a bit nervous in the background. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna fling our minion on. There we go. I'm hoping the hangover's not too bad, darling. Uh yeah. obviously, you know, it. I suppose the question on everybody's lips is will Cyprus be giving 12 points to Greece this year if they we make it through to the final? We couldn't care less unless anymore. They proved it last year. We need, we need to find the new 12 points fixed. We need to make new friends. <laughs> but um, so I have down, um, Tom, like five out of these six songs as qualifier. But looking at them, like there is one song in the last group we will do tonight, which I think is going to win the whole thing. And there is the Belgium. And the rest of the songs, they will qualify just because there was no competition, in my opinion. And uh, like I'm looking Denmark and Latvia, definitely very good quality songs, like amazing songs. But if they would fall into the first semifinal, definitely not qualifying. So they're lucky that they're in the second semifinal. Georgia, looking at this lineup, I think out of 10 qualifiers, there's room for two pop dance divas. So Austria and Georgia will qualify. They have like, I think there is enough quota for both to qualify. And then and then Greece. Ah, where is the Greece of Kalomiras and Eleftheria Eleftherius and 
and I don't know, like Zari dice have six faces. This is like a six songs mashed up together. Uh, if it be, be the two out of those six songs mashed up together, it would work. If it the three out of those six different songs mashed up together, it might have worked. But like I am one minute in the song and it's giving me anxiety. And I really, really hoped it to finish ASAP. And it just dragged way too long. Like this, the beginning was gorgeous. And I was like, oh, this is interesting. And then 30 seconds in, and I'm like, what's happening? Speak and stop. <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't find that so funny, but I do. I really do. It's yeah. fine. Do you know what? We're, we're, we're going to leave you there and we're going to move on to Alina. Um, Alina, have mm -hmm. you got any obvious favourites here? Where's Belgium's biggest competition in this one? For me, it's Denmark. Denmark is my winner this year. And I know I'm in like a small group of the, of the fans that think that. But um, yeah, they can win the whole thing for me. <laughs> I would be fine with it, but I know it's not going to happen. Um, but yeah, I really, really, really love Denmark. Um, Latvia is also high in my ranking. And then we have... Um, Georgia, I it's just making my top ten for the semi-final, and then Greece, uh, yeah, I, I do not really, sorry, care about Greece, and Estonia. I think um, they're uh, having competition with the Netherlands because I think there can only be like room for one weird act. Um, in the semi-final so um, i think netherlands is gonna take that away from estonia and estonia will have like nothing <laughs> but like nothing to um yeah of the votes yeah this is a tough one isn't it um it's either gonna bomb or it's gonna succeed and i think it's it's one of those entries that i've kind of got if it qualifies, it will qualify in 10th. And if it doesn't qualify, I suspect Estonia is uh, an 11th place wannabe. Um, and I really suspect that. Um, will the public pick up their phones and vote for it? Yeah, that's that. Do you know what, Alina? And you've arrived at exactly the same conclusion as I have. Um, I'm going to bring you guys all back together again just to see where your finalists are here. Um, so... Let's start with Phil and Michelle. Estonia, Latvia, Denmark. Uh, Estonia and Denmark for me. Okay. What about Ian and Donna? Okay. Um, Estonia, Denmark, Latvia. Oh, yeah, me, turn. right, sorry. That was my way. <laughs> staring at the page into nothingness. Um, Latvia, definitely, and I think Denmark, definitely. The rest, maybe. Okay, Oven. Well, Denmark and Latvia, for sure. Georgia, Greece. For, like, I think there is, it will, will take a miracle for them, for them to not to qualify. And uh, it's still, yeah, because I couldn't find a 10th qualifier. There we go. See, there's always a song that's got a qualifying 10th. Brendan, what about you, my friend? Uh, Denmark and Latvia. I think Estonia will get the 10th place, lucky enough. Oh, yes. Uh, and Alina. For me, it's um, Denmark, Latvia, and then the last place is like Georgia. Oh, is that last place as in the last, as in 10th, or is it in... The last one that uh, I could give points to, like with this yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, you're the only one to go for Georgia there. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Uh, as always, these predictions will be locked away very securely. And bribery will be accepted to enable them uh, not to be uh, uh, put up. And um, just going to look at some of the comments we've got in the chat room. Um, and I'm going to fling some of these up as I go on here. Uh, Sean says Denmark has had an amazing song this year. Uh, 
John reckons that Denmark and Estonia are qualifiers, and Tracy says it's Denmark and possibly Latvia. Uh, Dan's gone for Greece, Denmark, and Latvia. Apparently, Donna's been on too many mushrooms from Estonia. She froze. There you go. There's clearly some gremlins in that system. Uh, Troy reckons that everyone discounting Georgia is very interesting. Yeah, but Alina didn't. Alina's put it into her top 10. Um, Elliot reckons that Denmark is the only certain qualifier. Um, and where are we? Ah, John Boy says, sand is better than sewage on your local beach. Denmark is one of my favourites. As Ian said, a couple of the other songs can be described as sewage. I must have missed that bit, Ian. It's fine. Uh, cool. Right, guys, we've got one more set of songs to go. But before we do, uh, taking place, voting has opened for ESC Fan TV's Awards 2024. And we want you guys at home to vote in these. How do you vote? What's going on? Just the thing for you. There we go. And as you can see, the award shows will take place. Show one is Sunday, April 28th. Uh, show two is Sunday, May the 5th, both starting at 8pm UK time, 9pm Central European time. Voting is now open. Go on to menti.com. The code is 4238 and double one ten. And we would love to have as many of you vote as possible. Guys, it means we are on to the final set of five songs uh these are the last songs in semi-final two uh let's take a look and see what you think oh my god you got 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 me on There we have it, the last five songs from semi-final two. Yes, yes, we know, we know. There are going to be three of the big six countries performing in semi-final two, but that's going to be the topic for another show. And Michelle will be giving you some details about that one later. Look at look at that face straight away. Boom. This is what I like to see. Someone that is on the ball. Right, guys, let's see. I think there are some absolute bangers in this one uh michelle's nodding and agreeing with me which means oh boom you're on absolute banger alert yeah definitely got a song for one of them do you want to hear it no i'm going on holiday next week for for like forever on a road trip to to the europe and so obviously the netherlands oh, it, it touched me slightly, and we're going to Europa in my shit. Oh, God, what happened there? Crikey. <laughs> Michelle, did you have like an auto timer thing on this? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you bastards. Anyway, I love the Netherlands. <laughs> Do you like the Netherlands? Oh, yeah. I mean, 
people have been talking about like novelty songs and songs that aren't serious and there are just there are just songs you like and songs you don't like it's got a message you know it's a fun song yeah but there's nothing wrong with fun songs the songs they're, they're just as valid as any other song and this is a bundle of fun despite michelle singing <laughs> i'd rather have a song with a message that's fun then like a dreary sort of drag it through the mud. Oh, look at this. Woe is me. Oh, everything's shit. Uh, at least put a nice tune to it and do a bit of a dance and stuff. It's brilliant. Makes people listen to your message more. Yeah, um, I like Norway as well. Um, all them. It's it's sort of traditional instruments again. So <laughs> I mean it's it's a bit of a love, love peace peace formula, but um I think this could be another go, eh? You know, it's <sighs> It's, it's really good. good. It's, it's yeah, really it's good. traditional, but it's it's an upbeat and sort of modern twist on it. I like the rocky. It sort of like goes yeah. in it, and you feel the bass, and it's it's really meaty. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Oh, San Marino. San Marino. That's a fantastic rock song. I kind of hope they stage it. A rock song. Yeah. No, it's not. It's Foxy and Metal. We did a show about oh, this. Right, okay. It's a mix of fuchsia and fuck. It's Fuxia Metal. Google Fair it. Enough. All right. But yeah, I, I hope they, they, bring, they keep the, the skeleton dance outfits that they had in the in the national final. And the and bold everything. women. Oh, no, we spoiled it now. The bold women that take the gym mask. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we spoiled yeah. it. Don't bother watching it now. <laughs> no, I do. <laughs> um, yeah, I like that one. <laughs> and I also like uh, Nemo the Co. That's, I love it. It's a little bit sort of chaotic, but it really works. It was like somebody said, yeah. I can sing all the genres of music in three minutes. And the drunk mate at the bar went, no, nah, you can't. You're deluded. You don't know what you're on about. And he went, watch this. <laughs> there you go. That yeah. is Switzerland in a nutshell. Yeah, it's great. Do you know what? It's going to be an absolute ball with you guys in Amsterdam. I've got a feeling you are going to be all over it. And um, now... Uh, let's let's just look at a couple of these comments because I do think we need to kind of you know uh, bring this up. So uh, what was it? Euro Papa is proper scooter vibes or vids. I'm going to go for vibes. Do you reckon that's vibes? I reckon that's vibes. Yeah. Uh, and also also followed up with more tea bicker. Uh, also, what is the fascination of Europa? Sounds like the crazy frog song from years ago, um, as well. Uh, it does seem very divisive. This could be the makings of a winner. Divisive mm. song. If I think about the hate Lorene got last year alongside Love, you know, little John UK, a friend of mine who is so into the Netherlands that he's learnt Dutch, can't stand the Dutch entry. And someone else, uh, Elliot, said the Netherlands touched you. I hope it was with consent. I think well, it probably don't, was, we don't, yeah. We yeah. don't stray from the issues around here. Right. Well, I tell you what, though, I know someone else who is very much into uh, Euro Papa, and it's Euro Papa himself. Look, it's open. See, I can do these smooth links. That was smooth. <laughs> um, so, uh, what do we have here? Um, we have Malta, I'm, sorry, I'm already bitter Norris, about San Marino and Switzerland. I'm already bitter about San Marino national selection. Like there was this gem. The last polar pair, and they sent Megara. Like that's just the last pol. I am the last polar pair, and I'm like, this is a one in a million chance to send this song and go all the way. And you're like, come on, okay. So San Marino, no chance from me. Uh, what else do we have here? Uh, Malta. She, she doesn't have this. She doesn't have this. Aura, sorry, like she's she's a lovely girl. She doesn't have this like superstar aura. She's like a, you know, it's, it's, she looks like on a high school talent show, you know. Sorry, I don't think that's a that's a that's a presence that would you know make it through the final for a semi final. So for me, Malta is no go. Um, Norway, well, it's a league a weak semi, so Norway has a good track of public votes. Uh, so Norway, yeah, I mean, it's a good song. It's a good song. As, they, as Phil said, it's a second go a so, type of song. I like it. It's a good vibe. 
Not my favorite day, of course. My, I'm still bitter about Kano, Dam Diki Diki Da. Not getting this ticket to Eurovision. I will always be bitter about every time Kano is not going through. Um, Nemo, definitely a standout song, Switzerland. Um, but, Tom, you know that my famous rants, right, about Cyprus every year, how I back for a while. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. This year, I didn't use my, uh, you know, opportunity for Cyprus because I saved it for another country, and the country is Netherlands. I am like, this song, I've listened, let's say, 100 times. I cried 100 times. And not just listen to it. And I, I, I must be. I watch a thousand reaction videos while watching people reacting to it. I cried another thousand times. This is how you do a fun, crazy song. It's just not about what. It's, it's, it's not about getting through the semifinal. It, if, if like you can be a joke, is it's a gimmick act, but just. Put the story out there. Tell me why you chose going down this path. And in your case, this is who he is. He's not a one-act show. This is his whole career based on this. So it's organic. It's real. There is an amazing story behind it. And he is genuinely wants this. He genuinely wants to do Eurovision. He volunteered. And he prepared and he delivered. So Euro Papa, I think, is the ultimate, ultimate representation for Eurovision and for European. And that's the reason why it's the winner for me this year. Hey, strong, strong words there, Ivan. Strong, strong words. I can't believe, though, that San Marino is the AI song that you've kind of pointed out there, because quite frankly, for me, it's my AI, 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 Rob. It's my AI, 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 See, you know, that, to me, forget Kano. Oh, come you know, on. That would, have been, that would have been my Norwegian entry. That's bare Absolutely shit in the amazing. woods. That's bare yeah. shit in the I can't forget about Kano. Yeah, but come on. We know, we know I shouldn't be trusted to decide these things. <laughs> you you end up with a very interesting selection. We know this. However, someone who can be trusted is Alina, who I know must have some absolutely superb opinions on at least two of these because they are going to threaten Belgium for the number one spot in the this semi final. Um, I have opinions about them. Um, the question is, are they good? <laughs> um, first of all, we know that Belgium will give their 12 points to the Netherlands. You can write that down in the newspapers. We're going to give them to them. To them. Um, is it a song that I like? No. Uh, do I like music from you, Sklein? No. It's just not my genre. I just, I don't like his music. Do I... So, do I support him? And do I think the Netherlands is funny? Yes. I mean, it's his dream. He worked so hard for it. You go, you go have fun. You go do your thing and have a great score. That's all amazing. But I just don't like the song. And I'm going to get so much hate for it because he is extremely popular in Belgium. Um, and um, I will get all the fans now uh, attacking me. But, um, yeah, we just know that he's going to do great. Um, it's a funny, funky song. Um, he wants to do Eurovision so badly, he can go to Eurovision now. The question is, will Karia be there? Because he's extremely good friends with Karia. So I'm expecting Karia in one way or another. Um, Norway is um, growing on me. I don't really like the shouting so much but it's growing on me and i forgot the other countries oh yeah uh, switzerland um it's also very good um and the rest i forgot so, oh you know. oh i was enjoying that that i i i think Karia could be there to support i think it's going to be there uh i think i think mm, there's a lot of people that like that one. I think that could be uh, this year's winner. Um, I know Brendan wouldn't go in for such things. He's probably picked something far more sensible. I don't know, like Switzerland or Malta. 
Uh, you'd be wrong. So, um... <laughs> oh, I knew I'd be wrong. <laughs> yeah, well, Malta, it has no substance for me. I, they, as as Auburn was saying, there's just something not right. Uh, she hasn't got that aura. It doesn't work. Um, the Netherlands, it, it's very catchy. Uh, a lot of fun. Uh, well, no doubt it'll qualify and it will do well. Um, again, I don't see anything negative to say about that. Um, it's just not my cup of tea, but it is fun. And at least it's uh, you can sing along to it. So you can't ask for much more. Um, I, re- I as a bitter Kano fan, I pre- uh, prefer not to talk about <laughs> Norway this year. I would have even taken me at my AI like you, Tom, but uh, no, I can't stand the wailing on the table, so uh, I'll off past that one. <laughs> um, San Marino, that song just draws you in. Um, I absolutely love it. It is brilliant. It's a fantastic, uh, whatever the word is, metal song. So I, I think that's going to do well and. Again, Switzerland. No, I, I, I do, do not get the hyper on that. So, uh, yeah. Uh, there's a code to it, apparently. Oh, there well. Yeah, I don't do who codes. Knew? Who knew? Um, do you know what? I, I, let's just ask you a question. So with Malta, is the problem with Malta not so much the song, but the selection process? Uh, I'm not so sure. Um Maybe maybe as a, it plays a part in it, but I, I just think the the song and the singer don't match very well. It, it's just it's trying too hard. Maybe it's trying to copy what other countries have done previously. There seems to be a lot of gaps there for dancing. It's almost copying countries from last year, especially. Mm, yeah, as long as it's not like Blooming Israel came third with basically spending thirty seconds going. Do you want to see me dance? Yeah, that's uh, what I think it'll do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Still not over that. Still not over that. Uh, Phil and Michelle. No, I've done you. Yeah, yeah. Let's, go yeah. Another, let's go to another couple. Ian and Donna. There we go. <laughs> I knew I was going. Don't get us too couple. confused. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, I'll hang my head in shame. Oh, we'll let you off. Uh, yeah, this is a great selection to end on for me. Um, uh, the only one that slightly lets me down a bit and I'm probably one of the few that actually did watch the Maltese national final is Malta um it wasn't one of their strongest years this year and Sarah uh, is it Bonacci with the loop actually was one of the better entries of the selection really yeah oh go watch it and see no, um I don't think I want to know. <laughs> and I just think she needs more there's, there's something missing there and it does feel like um a copy of so many things we've seen before um substance is lacking it's i mean the the chorus bit's catchy and i'm sure she'll have a decent enough dance routine in the middle of it for me it's going up against um both cyprus and georgia and i think it's going to be the one that people will forget out of those three Mm. unfortunately so um Yeah. yeah it's a shame really but um you never know. They might surprise us. As for the rest, though, <laughs> I would <laughs> quite happily have these sail through. I I absolutely love Norway. Sorry, Kino haters. Uh, uh, I I actually really did like the the ethereal wailing of the lady on the turntable, um, and the good rock track that accompanied it. Um, yeah, it was one of my favourites for Norway this year, and. I think it will do well. There's nothing else like it. And the only two rock numbers in the whole thing are San Marino and Norway. So, And they're very different from each other, so I can't see them cancelling each other out or anything like that. Um, San Marino as well. Megara, very good group. And their performance at San Marino was actually really strong. So they can only build on that and have a lot of fun with the audience. And I'm looking forward to what they're going to produce. Um as for the other two, the Netherlands and Switzerland, well, these both made my top ten. Absolutely love them. Um, ha- the one thing that concerns me, though, is how they're going to be staged. Um, because they both have amazingly mental videos um, that work so well with the song. How are they going to put that onto the stage? And it could be a make or break thing. Uh, as to how sort of the messages come across. Um, Switzerland, I suppose, has the stronger lyric, I think, to sort of understand what he's trying to present. Um, 
so I don't know. It it could go one way or the other for mm. me, and I really hope that they do sail through because they're both fun songs. They both have a good message, and and there's an emotional thing going on there. They're both very strong singers, and both with their own style. Um, I just love the fact that it's a total hot mess for Switzerland. <laughs> like, just just sing whatever you fancy, mate, and it'll come across nice. Um, I love it. It's great. <laughs> and Netherlands is quite bonkers, but it's so heartfelt as well at the same mm. time. Um, he's got the energy and he'll play with the audience so well. Um, yeah, I can't see these not qualifying. Yeah, looking at these, uh, Malta, it's a bit like Georgia Greece, it's shit. Um, um, Netherlands. I find this song slightly irritating, but when you know the message behind it and what it's saying, mm. it takes on a whole different meaning. My worry is that the audience seeing it for the first time and seeing it probably once won't necessarily get what the song is about mm. and will catch on it as being a bit of a novelty. Ireland's probably got a similar problem, mm. um, and it might not do well that because they don't get a chance to learn what's behind it, and what's behind it is really strong, really mm. powerful. Um Switzerland, similar thing. It is a messy song. There's too many genres going on there. Um, it's I, I think it's edging into the just because you can doesn't mean you should. Mm. Um, and it just becomes messy and it jumps around and does a bit of opera, a bit of rap, and then there's a bit of the James Bond thing, and then a bit of ooh, what the fuck is going on here? It's too much, I think. Um, and it might not come across correctly. It and some of the things, some other there's quite a few songs this year are jumping around genres like that and they're a bit messy and it doesn't quite work exception that might be ukraine it's just better structured and although it does jump between genres it does it in a more coherent kind of package some of these are just they're a bit of a hot mess um and there's a bit too many hot messes i think with this um san marino's great um i'm really glad they won it um it was by far the best song although i did love the polar bear song that was one of my favourites. Yeah, I really like that there song. There's not enough love for the polar um, bear. And, and they are going to be great on stage. AI. They are going to yeah. be a really good live performance. Um, okay. And out of this lot, Norway, absolutely fucking brilliant. Absolutely superb. It's unlike anything else in there. Um, you watch the national final, you look at the audience reaction to that song. They loved it. It is brilliant. Totally unique. I just... Love it. They are going to do well this year. And I really what hope will so. happen is the Kano fans will again quite bitterly just kind of go Whoop. again. Sorry. Sorry, Brendan. Ah, Sorry, Sean. <laughs> I apologize. Right, guys, for the final time this evening, I am after your qualifiers. I've totted up your things, by the way. Um, so uh Five of you have got a chance of going bust. Two of you have only selected five to qualify so far. So let's see how good the maths is. Right, let's let's start with Oban. So my final three qualifiers, since I'm keeping the count, are Switzerland, Norway, and Euro Papa Euro Papa. See, I've only got you down for five, Oteban, so far. I got you down for Austria and Belgium in the first lot, and then Denmark, Estonia, and Latvia. He's got, himself on, mute. He's got himself on mute, and he looks. Oh, no, I, I said also Georgia and Greece. Oh, Georgia and Greece. Oh, yeah. I oh, said five out of six in the second group. There we go. I stand corrected. I stand corrected. Clearly, my maths wasn't that as good as I thought it was. Not the ears. I teach that then. Uh, Phil and Michelle. Yep. There we go. Right. Go on. Obviously, because I've got ten fingers, I can I can count to ten that all of these are going through. Even Malta. Oh no. Well, I've got my glasses on. I'm gone. No. You, oh Malta. no, yeah, Malta. I didn't even write anything for Malta because I thought it was just goof. So oh yeah, but you need Netherlands, San Marino, Norway, Switzerland, 
Anything else? That's it. All of them apart from Malta, really. Uh, that still leaves you at nine, though, Michelle. Oh, shit, does it? Because I counted anyway. Right, I've got Austria, Belgium, Czechia, Estonia, Netherlands, Norway, Latvia, San Marino, Switzerland and Denmark. I can't go that fast. Right, you ready? Look, Austria. Austria. Belgium. Belgium. Czechia. Estonia. Czechia. Netherlands. Yeah. That's five. Is it? Six. Six. That's six. Latvia, San Marino, Switzerland, Denmark. Oh, you never said Latvia earlier. Right. Oh, right. Well, I've got it written down. So I'm you got it written down. down. That's fine. Okay. Right, Bill. Right. Uh, Netherlands, Norway, San Marino, Switzerland. Now, ah, see, now I've got you going bust. This map <laughs> is going Are you sure? all, uh, all over the place. Wait, one, two, three, four, yeah. Five, six, six seven, seven, eight, eight nine, nine, ten. So I've got Albania, Austria, Belgium, Czechia. Yeah. Denmark and Estonia. Yeah. Netherlands, Norway, San Marino, Switzerland. Huh. I've got you down for Latvia. Unless no, I, I didn't have that Latvia. I wrote Michelle down, but I'm like, I reckon you've yeah. been confusing me. No. Right, Brendan, let's see if I can do this as badly as I've done it for the other three people so far. i got three spaces left, so Netherlands, Norway and San Marino. Just about. Yep. Right, okay. Elena. Um... I just have uh, Netherlands and Norway, and if I have any open spaces left, just fill in the blank. Uh, you're only up to eight, <laughs> so like, that's fine. The, 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 the yeah. chat can choose them. I think this is the most open semi anyway. Uh, Ian and Donna. Right then, so this is going to be the Netherlands, Norway, San Marino and Switzerland. And Ian, I if I've done my sums right, as I didn't do last week, uh, Netherlands, Norway, San Marino, Switzerland. Yes, there we go. Awesome. Who do I think is going to get through? Well, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you the six I think that won't get through. That's probably easiest. I'm predicting upsets uh, for Armenia because I don't think they're going to get through. Uh, I'm also predicting upsets for uh, Latvia. Uh, and Georgia, and San Marino, and Malta, and my surprise non-qualifier is Switzerland. There you go. Right. So, guys, we have done it. We have taken you through the whole of semi-final two. Um, we are back next. Michelle, details of the next show. Go. Yeah, well, next weekend, there isn't a show because it's Easter Sunday. <laughs> but the week after, we're doing the top five plus Sweden. So make sure that you come and join us for that. Well, not us, because we're still on our holidays and couldn't give a shit what's going on. <laughs> so you know what, though? I've got a feeling that show is going to be unforgettable. Oh, Ooh. no. Well, I'll make sure that... Might make you dizzy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it, it could be. make you dizzy. Yeah. <laughs> Well, anyway, um, going on holiday, <coughs> I don't really care. <laughs> Top five. You know why one. you're going on holiday, Michelle? It's because you're always on the run. Now. Uh... <laughs> Do you know how I'm going on my holidays? I'm going to Europa in my shit Toyota. <laughs> <laughs> we could be here all night. Uh, in the meantime, guys, spend your Easter Sunday if you are missing us next week. By looking at some of the archive, go live on YouTube. Uh, you can find all our past shows there. Um, you can actually, it's all right. The comments section is uh, apparently saying, you know, perhaps, uh, hang on, let's just put Elliot up here. I was going to say, ooh, is the, is the one I focused on. Uh, but yes, as I was saying, do catch us on YouTube uh, next weekend. Go and see something from the archive. Go and watch a retrovision. Go and see how we all looked five years ago. You could even look up our very first show. Um, in the meantime, do keep the conversation going. Facebook, Mastodon, Twitter, TikTok, X, we are all over there. Okay, 
Thank you so much for commenting in the chat room as well. Um, and I'd like to say a big thanks to my panel, a big thanks to Oban. Thank you for having me and thanks everyone. Amazing show, I love it. Hey, big thanks to Ian and Donna. Oh, no problem, thank you. Cheers, nice to be back again, cheers. Hey. Big thanks to Brendan. Thank you for having me again, nice to see you all. Hey, big thanks to Alina. Thanks for having me and see you on the next one. And a big special thank you to Phil and Michelle. Thanks very much. We'll see you all in Amsterdam. And don't forget to vote in the ESC Fan TV Awards. Oh, yeah, yeah do at the bottom. Yeah, vote, vote. Do not forget to vote in the ESC Fan TV Awards. And if I could move my fingers fast enough, there we go. Uh, menti.com, it's 4238 uh, Go there and vote. Our shows are at the end of April, April 28th and May the 5th. Now, Michelle, I know I've done dirty on you and, you know, you haven't had a chance to sing. But do you know what? Over to you. The vocal talents of Michelle Harrison. I'm going to trust you now, Tom. Fine. I'm going to your role, Paris. <laughs>